The Pontiac Sunbird is an automobile that was produced by Pontiac, initially as a subcompact for the 1976-1980 model years, and later as a compact for the 1982-1984 model years. The Sunbird model ran for 18 years and was then replaced in 1995 by the Pontiac Sunfire. Through the years the Sunbird was available in notchback coupe, sedan, hatchback, station wagon, and convertible body styles. History. Equals 1976 a Euro 1980 equals, the Pontiac Sunbird is a subcompact, four-passenger automobile introduced in September 1975, and produced for the 1976 through 1980 model years. The first generation Sunbird is derived from the Chevrolet Vega sharing the Vega's wheelbase and width, built on the H-body platform. Its intended competitors were other small sporty two-door vehicles including the Toyota Celica, Datsun 200SX, Ford Capri, and the Ford Mustang II. It did not share any mechanical relation to the Holden LX Sunbird. Overview The Sunbird has a 97.0-inch wheelbase and a 65.4-inch width. The first-generation Sunbird is a rear-wheel drive vehicle with a live rear axle design. The standard engine was the Vega aluminum block 140 CID in line 4. Equipped with a single barrel carburetor, it generates a peak power output of 78 horsepower at 4200 rpms. The standard transmission was a 4 speed manual, with a 5 speed manual and 3 speed automatic transmission options. This engine was also available with a two-barrel carburetor that increased peak power to 87 horsepower at 4400 rpms, as well as Buick's 3.8 LV6 engine rated at 110 horsepower at 4000 rpms. The front suspension is short and long control arms with coil springs, and anti-roll bar. The rear suspension is a torque arm design with coil springs and an anti-roll bar. Variable ratio power steering was standard of a recirculating ball type. The brake system features front disc brakes with vented rotors, and rear drum brakes. Power assist was standard. Changes, in 1977 the hatchback body style was added. It is noted for having a resemblance to the Ferrari 365 GTC-4. All some birds had a new standard engine, Pontiac's 151 CIDI and Duke inline four cylinder engine using a two barrel Holly carburetor and generating 90 horsepower at 4400 RPMs. A formula option was available on coupe and hatchback. It includes the handling package, a chrome valve cover, three piece spoiler, TA steering wheel, and special body decals. For 1978 and 1979, the station wagon from the discontinued Asta series was added to the Sunbird line. They continued to use the same front fascia as the Asta with Sunbird badging. The 2.3L engine was simultaneously discontinued. For the 1978 and 1979 model year, the Chevrolet 5.0L V8 engine was made optional in the notchback and hatchback, while the Sunbird Safari wagon continued for its final year with a revised vertical styled grille. The 1978 and 1979 engine options included the 305 V8, 3.8 LV6 and an 2.5 LI4. Body options included Firebird Redbird package, Sunbird Formula package, and sunroof. Air conditioning was available as was 4-speed manual transmission or 3-speed automatic transmission. 1980 was the final production year of the H-bodied Sunbird. By this time the wagon body style and the optional V8 engine were discontinued. The year featured an unusually long production run in order to provide sufficient inventory to carry dealers into the 1981 model year, in anticipation of the Sunbird's replacement. A total 479,967 H-body Sunbirds were produced in five model years. Equals 1982 a Euro 1988 equals, for 1982, the rear-wheel drive Sunbird was replaced by a new front-wheel drive compact called the J2000. Appearing as a sedan, coupe, wagon or hatchback, the J2000 was powered by either a 1.8L or 2.0L four-cylinder engine. The J2000 shared GM's internationally used J-body platform with the Chevrolet Cavalier, Oldsmobile Forenza, 
Buick Skyhawk, and Cadillac Samarin in North America. For 1983, the J prefix was dropped. This was in an effort to market the J2000 as a smaller version of the Pontiac 6000, which had a similar appearance. Both engines were replaced by a new SOHC 1.8L4, imported from GM of Brazil. This engine used throttle body electronic fuel injection, in contrast to the carburetor that was used in the 1982 engines, making 84 horsepower. A five-speed manual was newly optional. A convertible called the 2000 Sunbird was also new for 1983. 1984 brought a new front fascia for a smoother, less angular look. Also, the lineup was renamed 2000 Sunbird, a title used only on the convertible the previous year. A new turbocharged four-cylinder was available. Based on the standard 1.8L inline four that powered other 2000 Sunbirds, it used multi-port fuel injection, for a total output of 150 horsepower. This engine was popular, and more powerful than many V6 engines in competing brands. 1985 was a carryover year, except for the 2000 prefix being dropped. A GT model arrived in 1986. It featured fender flares, hidden headlamps, and the turbo engine standard. It was available in sedan coupe or convertible. The GT sedan is very rare, with less than 5,000 sold. The GT convertible is the rarest variant, with fewer than 1,300 sold. A redesigned gauge cluster and new engines made news for the 1987 model year. The gauge cluster featured different graphics, and featured a 120 mph speedometer on turbo-equipped models where 1984-86 turbo models had just an 85 mph speedometer. The new engines were punched out versions of the 1.8L, displacing 2.0L. The base engine still used throttle body injection, for a new total of 96 horsepower, and the turbo still used port injection, for a new total of 165 horsepower. Also, the convertible could only be ordered in GT trim. The rear fascia was redesigned in 1988, and the four-speed manual was discontinued. Equals 1988.5 Euro 1994 equals. Production under the Sunbird name was continued until 1994. The trim levels on both the sedan and coupe were base, SE and GT. The Sunbird SE coupe, SE sedan and the GT coupe and convertible had partially concealed headlamps a feature that originally appeared on the Isuzu Impulse, that gave the appearance of raised eyebrows, when the headlights were on. The base model initially had the 1984-87 front fascia with exposed sealed beamed headlamps. The engines were both the carryover 2.0L 96 horsepower 04 and the turbocharged 165 horsepower 2.0L 4. GM discontinued the Safari name on the Sunbird station wagon models. In 1989, the base model received a smoother, more aerodynamic front fascia and the model was renamed LE. An LE coupe joined the lineup also, with the same features as the LE sedan, but for a slightly lower price. The SE sedan was discontinued. In all models, however, a new dashboard was added. It somewhat resembled that of the Pontiac Grand Prix, redesigned for 1988. The most notable change from the previous dashboard is the placement of the stereo. A redesigned AM-FM stereo unit was placed high in the dash. If a cassette player or compact disc player were ordered, they were relocated at the bottom of the dash. For 1990, the GT and SE coupés received a smoother front fascia with hidden headlamps. The GT convertible is discontinued, replaced by a turbocharged LE convertible, which also retains the GT suspension and steering. In all models, GM's passive seat belt system was introduced. The seat belts were mounted on the doors and would stretch out when latched. The Turbo 4 was deleted for 1991, replaced by the Cavalier's 3.1 LV6. With multi-port fuel injection, it produced 140 horsepower at 5200 rpms, and 185 lbaft of torque at 4800 rpms. Although there was less horsepower under the hood, 
power came much quicker and smoother than the turbo, with about the same fuel economy. The V6 engine could be ordered in any model, save the new for 1991 base value model. The SE Coupe received the LE Coupe front fascia, but the GT's fascia could still be ordered with a sport package exclusive to SE Coupes. The largest change for the 92 model year was a revision of the base engine. The 2.0 LSOH CTBI4 was replaced with the 2.0 LSOH CMPF54, resulting in a fuel economy increase in power increase. Power was increased from 96 horsepower to 110 horsepower and torque increased from 118 to 124 lbaft. An SE sedan was once again available, and the base models were dropped in the convertible move from LE to SE. The only change for 1993 was the addition of a glass rear window with defroster on convertibles. As the Sunbird came to a close, the trims were pared down. The SE sedan, SE convertible and GT coupe were dropped for 1994. The LE sedan, LE coupe and LE convertible, and SE coupe stood pat for one more year. The SE coupe was essentially the 93 GT coupe with a lower price. Most Sunbirds were built in Lordstown, Ohio and Ramos Arizp, Mexico. The last one rolled off the assembly line on April 27, 1994. The Sunbird was replaced by the Pontiac Sunfire in 1995. GT The Sunbird GT model was introduced in 1986 as a coupe, sedan, convertible or fastback hatch with a 1.8L turbocharged four-cylinder engine of the family two-ranger standard equipment. The 150-horsepower 1.8L turbo engine had been available since 1984. In 1987 the engine was upgraded to the 165-horsepower LT3. All GTs featured semi-concealed headlamps and fender flares and turbo GT badges replacing Sunbird badges, except on the Turbo Delete cars where the Sunbird badges were replaced by Sunbird GT badges. The sedan was dropped for 1988 and the interior was redesigned for 1989. The convertible was dropped for 1990 and the turbo was gone for 1991. Replacing the turbo four-cylinder for 1991 was GM's venerable 3.1L V6 that produced 140 horsepower, but was quieter and smoother than the turbo. After 1993, the GT Coupe became the SE Coupe when the lineup was consolidated prior to the new model to arrive for 1995. Equals Sunbird in Mexico equals, the Sunbird was first sold in Mexico in 1992. Prior to this, the Sunbird had been badged as the Chevrolet Cavalier there. Engines, the 1982 Euro 1994 Sunbird came with one of these engines. 1982 1.8 LL46 Corberry Tid OHVI4, 1982 a Euro 1986, 1.8 LLH8 TBIS OHC14, 1983, 1986, 2.0 LLQ5 TBI OHV14, 1984, 1986, 1.8 LLA5 Turbocharged MPFIS OHC14, 1987 a Euro 1991. 2.0 LLT2 TBIS OHC14 1987 a Euro 1990 2.0 LLT3 turbocharged MPFIS OHC14 1991 a Euro 1994 3.1 LLHO MPF IOHV56 1992 a Euro 1994 2.0 LLE4 MPFIS OHC14 See also Chevrolet Vega, Vega Variants Pontiac Sunbird Safari Wagon, General Motors H Platform. References Sources, Flamang, James M. and Cowlake, Ron, Standard Catalog of American Cars, 1976-199, Third Edition, Gunnell, John, Standard Catalog of American Cars, 1946-1975, Revised Fourth Edition. External links